Android 16 has another new update available. This one is beta 4 and I just installed it through GSI. Most of the things will be same with the stable version but for a beta version the things or you can say the official version will be same. This is GSI version beta 4 Android 16 I'm talking about. The changes and things which are present I talk about some of those things in this video. And Android 16 beta 4 for Google Pixel devices is coming very very soon so stay tuned for that and I'll make a video on that one too. But for now as I installed GSI so let's explore some things if we are getting something or not and also I'll drop the link in the description how to install GSI on a device and that is not 100% guaranteed but you can still give it a try. This is Android 16 this is beta 4 and as you can see build number because this is a GSI which I have installed on my rooted Android device you can also try it out on a device in case you want to just to taste Android 16 because Android 16 is not getting any major UI changes for now maybe with a stable version but for now nothing new included in this case. One of the changes which I found with Android 16 is called this feature named as apps list which is actually quite interesting to see because it's not a major thing. I mean to say for example if you hold here you'll see home settings, widgets, wallpaper and style but what's the use of app list in this case? Not so sure let me know if you know anything about this one because you can simply open the apps list by simply swiping up. There's nothing new but why this is there so I don't know but I just wanted to let you know it's included in this case that is one of the changes available with Android 16 beta 4. Nothing much to talk about but including this one let me show you some more things. If you move on to recent panel or click on any app icon you will see the option named as screenshot. As far as I know the previous version did not have this option. The screenshot so if you click this one it will take the screenshot of that particular Android app so you don't have to open and then take a screenshot maybe one step less now. I mean this might be okay this might be good thing for now I don't know but it is here so just wanted to let you know. These are the only changes so far I found with Android 16 beta 4 in GSI version of course because Android 16 beta 4 officially for the Google Pixel devices is coming very very soon so I'll definitely make a video on that one but for now this is what we have. Android 16 or even with Android 15 QPR updates we got this mods option which is a replacement of do not disturb or you can say advanced do not disturb available in this case almost quite similar to iOS focus mode. So you can add your custom modes, you can try out some notification customizations, you can try out some settings, you can enable or disable some settings. This is what we have nothing new and nothing much to talk about this case because this is not a new thing. It's already available in many other custom rooms, many other devices with Android 15 update too. One thing which I was looking forward to was Android 16's volume panel. Because in previous videos where I told you that we have some leaks available with Android 16 will give you new volume panel but for now even with the beta 4 we do not have anything new available. Maybe with a stable update no one knows but maybe if you get the new volume panel we everyone has a mixed opinions how it will work or not. The good thing about Android 16 so far what I found what I actually personally noticed was the animations. Yes animations are quite improved. Maybe in video if you are not able to notice that but after installing it you will definitely notice the change in animations. The animations are quite fluid now. Good enough to use on a device as a daily driver as far as I know if you use Android 16 beta public beta on Google Pixel devices. Not this one for now while making this video. It's not available but it is coming very soon maybe in less than 24 hours. But yes it's there. As you can see this is dynamic system update so I just installed it through GSI. If you want to know more about how you can install this thing on a device check out the link in the description. This is it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.